My name is Dr. Eric Russell. I'm the Department Chair of Chiropractic Sciences at Parker University, and this is the Force Sensing Table. You may ask yourself, what is the Force Sensing Table? It is something new and revolutionary to chiropractic education. It's a table that gives students feedback on how to deliver an adjustment so they are repeatable and they know how to deliver forces and change those forces for maximal clinical output. So we got the table through the generous donation of our Board of Trustee member, Dr. John Dealey, and it has been the best thing that's happened to Parker since I've been at Parker. It has literally transformed and changed the lives of our students. Students can come in, give an impulse on this table, and immediately give feedback in ways that they've never seen before in the chiropractic profession of, this is how much force you put in one direction, this is how much force you put in a different direction, and how fast you're doing. This gives rich feedback to students to make them the best adjusters they can be. Hello, my name is Dr. Dana Hollinsworth. Welcome to the Force Sensing Lab. I am a faculty member here at Parker and I have the challenge and the opportunity of bringing all 750 of our students through this one table and use this one mannequin so they can learn feedback on their adjustments. What the table does is it actually measures forces. It measures forces towards the floor, towards the head, and left and right across the body. So what the students do when they come in this room is everyone wants to palpate the mannequin. The mannequin has a full spine, has a, a skeleton in it, so everyone tries to find where everything is. And then you come in, you take your contact, you lean over your patient, and you deliver a thrust. What the table just did is it measured what I did, and it's gonna show up on that screen right there. So we can see how fast was I, how much force did I put into the patient before I thrusted, and then how much force was it overall with the adjustment. We're gonna take a look at a graph of different outputs that you can get from adjustments on this table. So you can see in this first section here, the blue, this is your pre-tension force. The red is your overall peak force of your thrust. And then the green is the speed, time to peak, or the speed of your thrust. So this first, if we take a look at the graph, this is where you're not touching the table. Then you lean into the patient, find tension, and thrust from there. This is more of a thrust on a smaller person or patient who wouldn't need as much force. This thrust, if you see this dip before the thrust there, that's you leaning into your patient but backing off before you actually put the thrust in. Then this third one here, you this person found really good tension, found that sweet spot and thrust right through it and then backed off their patient. This table's amazing, the technology is amazing. It gives students the feedback they need to improve their adjustment. It gives field doctors the feedback that they can improve their adjustment regardless if you've been out five years or 20 years. Everybody can get better somewhere. I wish this was here when I was a student. I would have been that much better when I got out. The four sensing table has been amazing in my chiropractic journey. I know now I'm getting into adjusting. Um, and since we got this table, I got to learn how to utilize my own force in order to generate the proper adjustment. I feel more confident in my adjusting. I feel excited to learn more adjusting. And I know this is only gonna help me to continue to prove, improve as a chiropractic professional. The force sensing table is by far one of the most important learning tools that I've utilized on campus. Uh, ever since we've had the force sensing table, I've taken some adjusting classes before the table um, and after the table. And I think the biggest difference is that you actually feel what you're putting into the patient and before you're just you know going in blind like hoping that it's enough to make the adjustment or wondering how do I change that if it's a child or if it's a bigger patient and now we actually see the feedback to know you should be hitting this level you get the feel for it and you're able to fluctuate your force. I think the tables is awesome for all of the students to come up here it allows us to work on our force the speed line of drive I mean everything that goes into an actual adjustment. By now you've had the opportunity to meet our amazing students at Parker University and see the force sensing table in action. We have one table that serves our entire student body and quite frankly it's not enough. We need your donations so we can enhance the student learning experience by having more tables so we can impact the student body so that they can go out and change the world. Please give today.